and use the rhythmic wind of the breath. to stoke the fire of inner luminosity, radiance. And so in this meditation, it's working in with another angle. And why I say it's difficult is because this is the posture. And so even if you experience in just this, you know, in three minutes, that puts enough pressure on the system. But in this case, with the right hand out and the left hand facing you, the Jupiter index fingers come together. It's a good year to work with Jupiter energy, Jupiter, especially in the meditative sense, like the Piscean sense, because all this year, Jupiter is in sidereal Pisces. And where it, it's at home, it's strong, and Jupiter is our meditative awareness. Jupiter is our sense of our sense of expansiveness, intuition. So this is a meditation that is all about that type of expansiveness and intuition. We all have fire. The question is, what is the inner environment that we're getting giving our fire to operate? This is a meditation you can use any time you wish. It is a meditation to give our fire an inner environment to operate in such a way that it's going to be helpful, creative, as opposed to cause us challenges and destructive. We'll have both. We'll have all of it, but what we want to have is slow, slowly but surely, we want our energy to be more creative and less destructive. And so by, by trying to do that all with just the mind, and all, all of, of analyzation. In this case, we're, we're taking a rest from all of that and we're working directly with the energy system. We're using the body, we're using the breath, and we're using the focal point of the gaze. Image, gaze, vision, light is from the fire element. Air is tactile perception. Ether is sound, the most subtle of the elements. Water, it takes saliva in your mouth, is taste. Earth is fragrance. Fire is vision. So when you take your gaze, which is governed by the fire element, and you endeavor to relax it into the meditative space of the third eye, it has a subtle beneficial effect on our fire and therefore on the intelligence of the mind. So in this Kriya, in this meditation, you're doing a special type of visualization that's very simple. You have this position with the fingers. You take a look at it. You look at its shape. Then you close your eyes and you see the shape through the closed eyelids. Like that. So the, the index fingertips are at the height of the brow point, the third eye, and then front of the body. Pelvic floor is lifted, shoulder blades are released. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is a two-stroke inhale through your mouth, and then a two-stroke exhale through your nose. So there's a couple parts, right? So we have our posture. We have the eyes closed, seeing the triangle. Already, if that was, a, that was it, that would be enough. But also we have this breath. Your breath is the, the starting focal point. Once you get the breath down, then we'll move, we can move on to the visualization, and I'll remind you along the way. But by simply putting our mind and body in this predicament, our mind is going to start to jump. The nervous system is going to go through commotions. And so the subconscious becomes irritated. And this is the process of cleaning the mind so we can see clearly. Purification of the denser subconscious tendencies of the mind, giving it light and clarity. This is the basic function of the Kriya. Okay, is it making sense? So point being it's natural if it's like you're not able to focus on that triangle thing at all just try just do your best and it doesn't mean it's not working if you're not doing it just the attempt is working 
makes it work. Okay? Just if you can't keep the posture up, totally understandable. It's hard. Especially if it's you're newer to this. See if you can stay with it and do the breath and do the visualization part, even if your hands are down here. So if your hands are down here, take your index finger to your thumb, palms facing up, and do the breath with the visualization. Make sense? So the breath will be like, and then, so it's O-shaped puckered mouth and two deep strokes to make an in the inhalation. And then through the nose, two strong strokes of an exhale to make the exhalation like this. Within those two strokes, both in and out, when you go in, you try to take as much air in as you can in each stroke within the rhythm. And through the exhale, you try to push as much air out as you possibly can within the rhythm, like this. with the breath. Try to keep the shoulder blades released down and put a little pressure on the fingertips. Your right hand is facing away from you. Your left hand is fa facing towards you. If you need to gaze briefly at the fingers, do so. Then close your eyes and see the triangle of the third eye through the closed eyes. Use the rhythmic wind of the breath. And to stoke the fire of inner luminosity, radiance. With every stroke of your exhale, pull the navel in. Push all the breath out. And through the puckered O lips, take the deep inhales. Full presence. It's very hard work, but we're almost there.
hypnotically breathe. Merge into the rhythm using the breath. Put everything into the breath, breath rhythm. See the triangle of the fingers. We're almost there, my friend. Stay with it. Keep the heart lifted, the shoulder blades release. A pelvic floor will help you if it lifts up. the fingers together final moments full breath see the triangle hold the position in half Press the two index fingertips together with all your strength. Lift through your pelvic floor. Squeeze the spine a bit. Press the fingers. And through your nose, full exhale. Through the mouth, deep inhale. Lift through your pelvic floor. Tighten the muscles around the spine. Press the fingers together. See the triangle. Hold the position, exhale. Inhale deeply, final time. Lift through the pelvic floor, rectum, sex organ, navel, up and in. Press the fingers. Press the fingers so it brings out an inner strength. Press them. And exhale and relax into a meditative zone, meditative space. Allow the breath to flow freely. Allow the mind to be spacious. Presence, feeling. Listening.
exhale completely. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Final time, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Mm. Shake your arms out a bit and kind of distribute the energy throughout all the body like this. Just it feels really good. Shake it, shake out any of the tensions. And stretch your legs and have a sip of water. If you have some water. So this is a meditation that you can do anytime. Now you know how to do it. Hey, thanks for watching on YouTube. Best easy way to stay in touch with us. Hit the subscribe button here. You'll see our videos when they come up. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button. It'll help more people see it, help the channel grow. I appreciate you watching.